I first met Debbie at the courthouse in Missoula when I was waiting for a hearing to be held regarding my now seven-year-old daughter, Charlie Ann. I remember meeting outside in the rotunda of the courtroom, and there we were. And the thing I remember about that moment that was really significant was seeing, oh gosh, <laughs> seeing what a good mom she was. I was just meeting this woman. I knew that there were struggles going on in her life. My name is Debbie Olson, and I was the CASA for Charlie M. The role of a CASA is someone who is trained, who is appointed by the court to advocate for a child. I felt really vulnerable and exposed to the world, and I, it was going to be hard to break through that, but Debbie had definitely begun to do so, just with the way she was so sincere and caring. There was just something different about the way that she approached me, like she really wanted to help. The CASA role is really unique and distinctive though, and, and as CASAs, we can do things that nobody else can do. I knew that there were struggles going on in her life. She was, she had the instincts of a woman that loved her child and was capable of being a really good mom. Brittany is uh, naturally wired to be a mom and she also chooses to make that a priority. Even in the most difficult of times. Ended up going back to prison as a violation of my probation, I was given straight parole to my mom's house and began treatment court. At first, you go into court weekly, and check in with the judge. I'm not proud of the way that I like presented myself during those. I was emotional and I wanted things to go a different way than they were going. It wasn't easy. You are under everybody's microscope, and you did it, and it was hard. CASA service means an opportunity to really engage in something that's meaningful. When Debbie would come into our home and just spend time with Charlie Ann and me, those were moments when I think the wall that I had up would start to break down a little bit. Debbie just has a way of being so engaging and kind and loving, and you know that she truly cares about you. The organization exists to support people, individuals who will step into these difficult circumstances and help families become better, help people become better. Yeah, that extra layer of support and accountability. And then, you just can't have too much support, right? So it was like six months later or something. That was a rough, this was a rough thing. It, it set the stage for you to relapse, right? But I remember getting a call from my supervisor at CASA. They're in a hard spot again. Brittany's in a hard spot. She was in pain um, and she needed someone in her corner. I was gonna do everything I could to Help her. The negative things that I had done, I felt like were what made me me and that that was all that was ever going to be seen of me from other people. I can remember talking to you on the phone one time and you had an opportunity to go to Billings at that point in time. And I just remember you saying, I think I have one more try in me. And you went. And that was the start of where you are today. Through the support of other people in my life, I have finally come to know that I am much more than my past, that I am capable of doing big things if I choose to do them. I am capable of getting through hard things. She always encouraged me, gave me hope, like there was a light that was still there, even when I felt like it might be hopeless, but I knew that she was in my corner and I had her support. And that, that was huge for me. Having a CASA helped me keep going when I didn't feel like I could keep going. And gave me encouragement and helped me to draw strength inside that I didn't know I had at times. It was clear how much 
Brittany cared for Charlie Ann. Then as she got healthier and healthier, Charlie Ann was her number one priority. Being a CASA um, for Charlie Ann obviously allowed me into um, Brittany's life. Um, gave me the opportunity to um, build a relationship with her over time, um, for us to gain trust in each other and have a rich relationship because of what we had been through together. Um, but also to start fresh, like two people who met in a coffee shop. I'm just excited for the part that Debbie now has in our lives as just a part of our family now versus the role as a CASA. Like that's continued and evolved into something that is beautiful and amazing and that will last forever. The best thing would be I have Brittany and Charlie Ann, Brittany and her family in my life. Brittany has become a dear friend. That that's the best thing in my life that has come out of being a CASA. Just made this amazing family outside of my own family that I would have never dreamed I would have and I wouldn't do anything to change what brought us to this. Mm -hmm. If I could, I would. <laughs> and we could still meet and yeah. be where we are today, as close as we are. Mm -hmm. but. For me, Casa Service was um, a, a remarkable opportunity to do something in life, to go somewhere in life that I wouldn't have done any other way. I think for us as a CASA, I was in such a great position to be able to be available to be there for them, and that was really important to me. Hopefully you've got an idea of what it's like to be a CASA, of what that experience uh, might be like for you. Most of us have room in our life to give back and this would be a really good investment for you in your giving back. You should do it. I know that I am a good mother. I learn from my mistakes. I know that I can overcome my past. I am a hard worker and I am reliable and capable. That was good. It was a good ending and they go off into the sunset. Right? Right.